Today I test again a diaper from Abu. Nice that you have switched on. After I have looked in the last diaper test the quite well-known peak Abu more closely, it continues today with the space diaper from the same manufacturer. Who has looked at the last test, it will have already noticed, the packages are uniformly constructed at Abu, the diapers are wrapped in a transparent, thicker plastic film, so you can see immediately what is inside. Otherwise, the adhesive on the side gives information about it, on it is also printed the size. Striking with the space diapers, they are not white diapers printed with colorful patterns, as is the case with many others, here the complete diaper was colored in a light blue and additionally printed. Abu has also hidden a wetness indicator here, which is visually noticeable as soon as the diaper gets wet. About the sense and nonsense of both can be argued, to the wetness indicator I have told more in the penultimate video of the Abu Pause, if you are interested and you do not know the video yet, you can watch it with pleasure. The outer material is foil, as is common with ABDL diapers, it has a more modern feel, not a retro foil like the Junior Plus, which has a similar feel to what the earlier Pampers must have had before they switched to a textile-like surface. It almost seems inconspicuous. If you squeeze the legs, you can hear a slight rustling sound reminiscent of the foil, it's not overly loud. Inside we have a high leakage protection, as is usual for ABDL diapers in the price range, we'll get to the price later, you can therefore still increase the suction well with inserts. You can also expect reusable plastic adhesives, for this, there is a landing zone at the front, i.e. a thicker, glued-on film, on which the adhesives not only adhere well you can detach and reposition them without any problems. This is helpful, for example, when the diaper is fuller and doesn't fit as well, or you've inadvertently stuck it on incorrectly. If you're interested in the different types of adhesives, you might also be interested in my video on them, where I introduce all of them and show their advantages as well as disadvantages. I didn't notice anything at first when I glued it shut. They are the same adhesives as are used in the structure of almost all diapers with reusable plastic glue. They are easy to place and even after opening and replacing several times, the adhesive strength is maintained. The only thing that can cause problems, the adhesive zone becomes soiled, for example with cream or oil. You should therefore avoid this and make sure that your hands are as grease-free as possible. I also always pull a little hard on the adhesives to test them. With the upper ones this was no problem, but when I did this with the lower ones, the one on your right bottom tore a little. This surprised me, although I have pulled harder on other diapers, this has never happened. However, the adhesive is not completely ripped off and the diaper has kept tight despite the damage, the fit hardly deteriorated. Apparently, the glues are probably not quite as stable as the others, or it was a defective product. But to be fair, I have to say. In everyday life it was enough, I have tried several diapers and apart from the pull test is never torn one. I am somewhat disappointed by the suction power, 1.5 to 1.6 liters were possible without problems, then it slowly began to leak, the little paws from the same manufacturer has held out more and for the same price. The tin pack costs 31.95 euros, so about 3.20 euros per piece. This is already in the upper price range and since the little pause has performed slightly better, I would recommend it as a colorful printed alternative, if the suction performance is also important to you. If it is not about the motifs, others such as North Shore Mega Max come into question, it holds a good deal more and is cheaper, but white or monochrome. If you like the blue background, possibly also the wetness indicator, then it is of course understandable if you are willing to give up a few hundred milliliter of possible suction power. Despite the two small weaknesses, it is basically not a bad diaper, it wears comfortably and is slightly wider cut between the legs, I would see it in the good midfield, so it also has no problem with being flooded. Whether you want to feel and hear the diaper or its film clearly, is a matter of taste, just as whether you prefer colored or white diapers. Personally, I find white with imprints the best, because you can also see immediately if the diaper has already become wet, with the color is somewhat more difficult to recognize, because the contrast is lower, there you can see it then more about the deformation. But that's just my personal opinion, where you can't say across the board that it's better or worse. There are all kinds of variations, white with print, without print, as well as colored with and without imprints, 
there should be something suitable for every taste. I wasn't quite convinced by the space diaper, even visually. I think the idea with space motifs in itself is not bad, but the crinkles succeeded much more appealing, in my opinion, this is mainly due to the contrast, which is already higher in crinkles due to the background. This is suggested, for example, by the adhesive on the package, there, the letter M was designed very similarly to the diaper, but the black background alone makes it stand out much better. On the Abu space, the blue in the background looks a bit faded and the motifs on it are not particularly strong either. What do you think of the diaper? Were you convinced by the design? Is the suction power sufficient for you or do you prefer alternatives that can withstand more? I would be happy if you write your opinion in the comments and give me a thumbs up if you liked the video.